Hello everyone, how are you doing? How's your mom? How's your dad? How's your grandma? How's your grandpa? How's your dog? How's your cat? How's your hamster? How's your rabbit? How is everyone and everything around you? I hope everyone is doing all right and I hope you too are doing all right. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that every month I do haul videos. But the video of today is going to have a little twist from what I normally do. So today is not going to be a haul video, rather today I'll be reviewing two of the things I bought in April. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Sony WC400 earpiece and this airport. So this is the Sony WC400 earpiece and this is the airport. It looks cool, right? See, this is in the case. This one doesn't come with the case. This one is just like that. Let's start with the airport. So this is how it looks. So this is in the case, really. So when you open it up, you have the earphones inside and then you have this light on. The green light indicates the battery level. So when the battery is high, you get the green light. But when the battery is low, then it's red. So let's take them out and see what they look like. So this is what you get. They are wireless. So you just put them in your ears and then you can listen to music. So when the moment you put them in, it makes a sound to tell you that it's in contact with your body. If you take, so if you're listening to music, for example, with them and you take one out, it automatically stops playing. But then when you put the other one, it starts playing again. So you can use them separately. For example, you can use just one ear and then you're charging the other one. And it's still going to play. Or you can use both. But then if you're using both or you're using one, the moment you take it out of your ear, it stops playing. That helps against theft. For example, if someone pulls it out of your ear or if it falls down, then you automatically know that you have lost it and then you can start looking for it wherever you lost it so it works with siri as well so for example if you have an iphone or an ipad then you can use this to talk to siri or to give commands to siri another thing to note is that it uses gesture so for example if you're listening to music and you tap it goes to the next music if you want to know the battery level of the case or the airport what you have to do is you have to turn on your device your phone or your ipad or whatever and then you open the case then you bring it closer so the battery life on this earpiece is five hours listening time and three hours talking time so this earpiece has noise correction so for example in a noisy environment and you're making a phone call you wouldn't get the background noise coming into your ears but then the downside is that if you're in a busy street or if you're cycling and then there's an oncoming vehicle, you wouldn't know that it's coming because of the, vo the, no because of the noise correction effect. Next, I'm going to move to the Sony WC100 earpiece. So this, first of all, makes a great accessory for the neck. Like, I mean, if you just have it like this, you don't have to wear a necklace or you don't have to wear a chain. I mean, your neck is already looking very beautiful. And then this is just how you use it, just like this, and you go about your business. So if it's on, you're going to see the light blinking. So if the moment you turn this earpiece on, it tells you that it's on. And the moment you turn it off, it tells you it's off. And if it pairs with a device, it equally tells you that Bluetooth connected, or if it's disconnected, it tells you Bluetooth disconnected. So that's how it does. It's equally very easy to pair this earpiece with any device. What you just have to do is you just have to hold, press the power button for a couple of seconds and then it turns on automatically. And then right here you have the volume controls. Even though it looks like it's very flimsy, but then it's difficult for it to get broken. I'm going to be comparing these two. So I'll be comparing them based on three things. The battery life, the sound quality, and then the price. So first of all, let's start with the price. So this one cost $199, while this cost $51. This one costs almost four times less than this. So you be the judge. So next, battery life. 
So this one, like I mentioned earlier, it's five hours listening time and three hours talking time. Meanwhile, this, the battery life is 20 hours of playback time. So the next point is sound quality. When you compare the sound quality of the AirPod and Sony WC400, the AirPod tops, however, they are, they are, however, they are earphones that sound better than these two. For example, you have the, for example, you have the Beats Solo 3, it sounds even better than the AirPod. And also the AirPod has noise cancellation. So for example, if you find yourself in a busy street or a busy environment, you're not going to get the sound of the noise as opposed to this, every noise that comes, you get it. Another bonus is that with this, you can charge it on the go. So for example, when the case is charged, you can always charge the earpiece. So when it's not in your ears, you put in the case, it will still be charging. So I'll rate this one a 7 on 10 because the sound quality is not all that perfect, but it's good. And I will rate this a 5 on 10. I mean, it's just like your regular earpiece, which doesn't come with lots of cables. That's the only advantage or that's the only difference between this and your regular earpiece. Have you tried any of these earpieces? Which one have you tried? Leave it in the comment section below. And what do you think about my opinions regarding these earpieces? Also leave it in the comment section below. So thank you so much for staying tuned with me. If you like this kind of content, if you like me reviewing electronics, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me in this video. Please stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye.